Hello, uh, this is Dylan White. I work for Bowling Train. I am out of uh, the DC, Maryland, uh, Virginia office. And I'm gonna show you how to uh, use schedules and use exemptions, um, especially exemptions in, in times like now where uh, the COVID-19 situation is happening and, and uh, you can um, use your schedules to help save in uh, energy. So uh, I wanna note first is a lot of people make a mistake and they're in the all buildings tab on the left right here. Um, if Even if you only have one building, it's good to click that building and you do your schedules in that building. Um, when you hit the all buildings tab, you'll see schedules and you could find your schedules in here, but it can be confusing because um, it's it's in alphabetical order, but the buildings can be mixed up. OK, so I'm going to show you uh, the best way to to schedule your 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 building. And I'll also show you a brief summary of how to do multiple build multiple buildings at once um, other than going here. OK, so we're going to go to all buildings. I'm going to use 1775 Wheelie Avenue as, as a uh, example. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go to schedules. Okay, also, let me, let's go back here real quick. A lot of times when you click this, it'll default to you to the tree right here. You got to go down to your bottom left and hit your building to see your schedules right here. Okay, once you hit schedules, it's going to bring you up in here. So if you don't see um, red in here, that means this is your normal schedule. Um, this is what's gonna happen every day, seven days a week on this day, okay? So an exemption would be something that is not gonna happen on a normal day. Um, to edit your normal schedule, you hit edit normal events. Sorry, you have to select which one you'd wanna do. Edit normal events, okay? Right now there's no events in here. Um, let me show you what one with event so it's a little bit clearer because most of the time they will have an event. So four floor schedule, edit normal event. So the four floor schedule has all this in here um, each day. So what I'd want to do on this is the first thing you want to do is clear events if you're, if, you're, if you're adjusting the schedule, okay? So say Monday, they're there from eight to five o'clock. So we would uncheck all the boxes except Monday and hit save, okay? Now it added that time for Monday, okay? Now we wanna add an event for the rest of the week being um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Say they're starting a little later those days, um, we can add this event now, okay? So, when we change our normal schedule, as you see here, and I, if I was to hit save here, this would apply it to seven days a week, um, Monday through Sunday, okay? The, the next step is if there's something oddball, if the tenant's requesting some overtime or one day, you don't have to edit your, your normal schedule. You can go to what's called an exemption, okay? So... When you go back, this is what you're gonna look at when you come to your building. It's gonna probably look something like this. You go back down to the bottom left, hit your schedules, okay? Now up here, you see add exemptions, okay? So let's look at tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, the first floor is unoccupied, okay? Now let's say they're gonna come in there uh, tomorrow um, from eight to five o'clock. We're gonna hit add exemption. Oh, sorry, we had to click the floor again, add exemption. And each exemption needs a unique name because uh, a lot of people use this to identify either who did it or um, or maybe a date or, or something of that nature. So I'm just going to put Dylan White's test. Okay, so tomorrow being the 18th. And... Tomorrow is a Saturday. It's only going to show you the days of the week that it falls in between that period. So if all seven days fall in there, it'll show you just like it did before when I was editing the normal events. So if there was an event in here, you always want to clear events first because you don't want the times to overlap in here. So always clear events when you're doing exemptions, okay? So I'm going to add an event and say they're coming from 8 to 5, tomorrow being Saturday. All right, I'm going to hit save. 
And I'm actually going to save this so I can show you what it looks like um, on the schedule when we do this. So I'm going to hit save. It's going to pop up another screen. If your pop-up blocker is uh, blocking this, you won't see it. So you're just going to have to wait um, a couple minutes or not even a couple of minutes. It should take only a couple seconds for it to apply. Um, so now it's completed. Now, when I click for tomorrow on the schedule, you're going to see this red in here. That red means there's an exemption applied to that date. Okay. And because of that, um, say you made a mistake or you want to go in there and adjust what you have done. So you go back where you, where you hit your schedules over here, you'll see an exemptions tab. When we hit the exemptions tab, um, you'll see, you can, you can see any exemption that was ever done in that building. You can also organize it by date um, or, or uh, you can use some filters up here and all that kind of stuff. So I want to say you wanted to edit it. I'm going to click, uh, click it. It tells you what you did and the timing you did it at um, uh, and the times you, you have it at. Um, so say I wanted to edit the ex uh, exemption. So I'd hit edit and I could change the time or if I wanted to extend the period of time it does it, you do it right here. Okay. Also, if you wanted to cancel an exemption, okay, you could hit this and hit cancel. All right. Now, when we go back to that schedule for Saturday 18th, you notice that red box in my time is not no longer in there. Now I want to show you what it's going to look like if you wanted to unoccupy a building. Um, let's unoccupy this one again. So let's add an exemption to first floor. Okay. I want to select the dates from the 18th. Let's go all the way to the 30th of April. Okay. And this is going to be Dylan White's test again. That way I can go back and delete it. So we're going to add an event. And now you'll notice that there's more days that fall in here because all these days fall in between these dates that you have up here. Okay. So we're going to add an event. And due to COVID situation, let's say that no one's going to be there. Right. So I'm going to take out the second time. And I'm going to start this at 12 a.m., which is the first thing on the left side of the page. And we'll hit unoccupied. And we're only adding this one because this one's not checked. It's going to be unoccupied. And you'll see what it looks like here in a second. So see that right there from the 18th to the 30th. Okay. Now I'm going to hit save. Okay. It's going to go through and save it real quick. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. You'll see that on the next day after the 30th, your schedule goes back to normal. All right. And I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, never mind. It did it quick enough. So you see now we're on the 18th. Um, if we're on today, the 17th, you would see that it's, it's still whatever it was um, edited normal. So now we can go to the 29th. You'll see the red there still. You'll see the red there still on the 30th. But as soon as you go to the 1st, that red clears, okay? And it goes back to whatever was in there normally. Even if you go to the Monday, it was normal, okay? So so right here, somebody edited the normal schedule when they could have just done it. They could do an exemption and they wouldn't have to go back in and edit this again, okay? So, but now we have an exemption in there, okay? So see the red right here? And we want to delete it. It's the same place. Exemptions right here. Cancel. Okay, so just a quick tip when you're doing your schedules. Um, I don't know if there's any binary. There is a binary here. So look, there is a fan here. So you can't select all your schedules. They all have to be the same type of schedule when you're doing it. So if you have binary schedules, you have to do two different exemptions or two different schedules. So just keep that in mind when you do that. So when you hit add exemption, it's going to show you a warning. OK, please choose one schedule type to proceed further. So if you just want to do your HVAC ones now, hit next, do those and then come back and then do the binaries. OK, um, also. Say you have multiple sites and you know what their schedules are going to be. There is a way to do it globally. I'm going to show you the best way to do so. And it's going to look very similar to this. It's just an easier way to select uh, the building's uh, schedules. So. To do that, you go up here to the gear at the top right. Then you go to schedules. Okay, 
see create exemption schedule you're gonna click that all right now you always have to do a unique name I'm gonna do Dylan White's test okay and it's only let me do this because I deleted it before I couldn't do this again if I didn't delete my old exemptions okay so say I wanted to do 1401 okay let's do 3201 and 1775 okay so say I wanted to edit these schedules okay hit next it's going to show you every schedule in those buildings now keep in mind it cannot be the binaries again okay but in here oops let's go back it's going to let you select HVAC or binary okay and none of my buildings that I take care of we have the lighting analog or multi-state uh, schedules we're only using the binary and HVAC schedules um, you know, ask ask your tech that takes care of your building if there's any other type of schedules that you might need a schedule. But uh, for these purposes, is you're going to use HVAC and binary. So you got the two different ones. So so HVAC, and we're going to hit next on those two buildings, and it's going to show you every schedule in those two buildings. So we can just select a couple schedules randomly, and hit add. So here they are right here. Okay, hit next. All right. So here, sometimes you will see a scheduled time in here. Just always hit this clear event. Just, just, um, just, just so you're starting from a blank page when you're doing this exemption. Okay. So if we wanted to do it for tomorrow, being the 18th, and we want to add an event. Um, if you were unoccupying a building, you would do 12 a.m. Take out the second start. Uh, the second time in here and then just do unoccupied so it's only going to do this one line right here okay it's a 12 a.m occupied and you hit you hit that and then once you hit next it's going to give you a summary of what you're about to do okay so you always see something at the bottom that says finish save or something like if you see next you're not going to do any you're not going to do any harm once you hit finish it is going to apply to these four schedules okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit finish. Let's make sure. So finish. All right. So it's going to go through and do that exemption for us. Okay. Now, what you'll see. Is when you go to those buildings, we did the second floor and the fifth and sixth floor. Okay. So 1775 wheelie. Let's go to that building. And we go to schedules. We go to tomorrow. Oops. I'm still on the 30th. Let's go back. Tomorrow would be the 18th. So now we see that, that global schedule that we did. And then also, so see how it's in 1775. Now we go back to all buildings. Go back to Germantown. Go to our schedules. All right, now we go to tomorrow. Now you see that these, these two exemptions we did globally. So that's how you do multiple buildings. I hope this kind of gives you a grasp on, on how to do both schedules.